into a wood we've left tan hill we just hope we're able to get there make it on the bikes our electric bikes and get back got a rucksack got tents i'm gonna camp near the night i'm carrying over 15 kg so uh we've got some burgers martin's made some pheasant burgers got a couple of beers as well I'm struggling on this section need to get off And uh, yeah, we've also grabbed a few snares as well. I might drop some snares, see if we can get out with snares tonight. And uh, we can take them back, take any rabbits back with us tomorrow. So we're also heading to a pub. We're hoping to get some more charging of bikes to help us get back. But we're also gonna try and cycle as e economically as possible to save as much power in the batteries. So in Eco Plus at the moment, when we get to these little hills, knock it up to standard, which helps we show a bit more help. We're only 10 minutes in, mine is fucking screwing his guts up almost. Food, yeah. We've got these biscuits. Okay. We've got these biscuits. We've uh, skipped breakfast. We decided not to go to the tunnel for breakfast because it was so uh, busy. Uh, got some biscuits though. That's our breakfast. A couple of cookies. And then where we're heading is a pub. I think I've already said it actually. We'll try and get food there. Heading to this A66. I'm going to go straight across over the moors there. And that's the way we're yeah, that's the way we're heading. Let's get a move on. Not used much battery yet. Same one bar. All right, just seen recycle pass. Now some cans over here. We get a bit of practicing with the catapult just in case we see anything. One more, one more shot. Cut that one out. Yeah. Second shot. And that. Yeah, I only had one shot. It's definitely going to get a bit more tougher now going up here. Have to uh, probably stick the bikes in there, stranded. Maybe. What's the next one up? Maybe high standard, so probably high to get us up this. Hopefully not. Let's see how we get on. So we weren't actually allowed on here. Just bumped into a gamekeeper, and uh, he just told us we're not allowed on here. He says, "I'll let you go this time, but don't make it very difficult." And uh, he says you might get a bit of, might have a problem with the other keepers. But uh, sent us up this way, said it's the best way to go. First to go up through that, I've hit it, hit it, put the bike in high power to get me up here. Oh, it's a slog. Let's keep going. I know the one that's in it. It does last a long time, but I've not charged it. That was meant to ask what batteries it for the boat, yeah. Same as. So. We've stopped not far from where I last spoke to the camera. Um, we decided to have a little rest, get a bit of a breather. Um, 
I'll start to get a bit cold, um, get, get a bit warm. So uh, we don't, it doesn't look like we've got far to go to, until we get onto like a gravel track. So we're just gonna carry on down this until we also reach that track. Um, what was it we, we're doing? We've done about seven mile, did you say? Yeah, over and a half, seven and a half now. Yeah, seven and a half mile, and we've been riding for about an hour and 20 minutes. So we're doing pretty well for time. Yeah, yeah they do. So saying they weigh a ton. They're a nightmare picking up and carrying over fences. But good news is we're on this gravel track, so hopefully get some cover some distance now. Get a move on. Let's go. I'm pretty sure the grass are lapping at us. Pretty cool. So we've reached the first reservoir. This is a boulder head reservoir. We've got to go across the dam wall and then on the skyline there you can see the wood that we're heading towards and then a bit further you've got another reservoir and then we end up going right and as to the village we're going to try and get some food at. So We're getting there. My arse is killing me. Marsh, my left shoulder for some reason there for it. Bags there. Yeah. So Mark just said his bags are in his shoulders, but apart from that, it's okay. My shoulders are in, and my bum's killing me. There we go. So we're just at this dam wall now. I'm gonna go across there, up here, and then here we join onto the Pennine Way, which takes us past that wood. And then we're gonna get to Grass Home. I'm gonna follow the Grass Home Reservoir round and that leads us to Mickleton yeah yeah I like that looking out over there Okay, we're on the Pennine Way now. Let's go. Full power. Yeah. Go on, then. show that it's done. <laughs> Biscuit time. So, we've done 20 mile now. And, uh, See the uh, wood that we're heading to is just there. Um, we're also, well, the plan is to go to Mickleton, which is the village just beyond the wood. And if we stayed on the road, if we didn't come up over this field, oh, it's fine, food. <laughs> All right. so, uh, I'm gonna shoot it, try and shoot it, yes, one sec. So yeah, if we, uh, we actually stayed on that road, we just looked on the map and it would have took us 30 minutes to get to the village. So, it probably takes an hour now, innit? If we go across there, through that wood, we have a little sky to see if we can find a camping spot. And then go across the fields, get to the village that way, back to the road. I've had uh, two biscuits. I'm crack on that top wood. I'm actually gonna stash my tent, I think, in the wood. So when we go to the village, no one thinks we're actually camping. is gonna go sink it then we just did up there there's a big just looked like more than we both went in quite deep oh, no. 
Bagways more than bike. <laughs> well, I know a bag on at all. Well, we don't want any more of those, that's for sure. Yeah, we made it to the Crown Pub in Mickleton, and we've just bought burger, the ultimate burger, which is ultimately delicious. And then we've got some load of fries. See, there it was, load of fries. Uh, butter fries oh with some scrum, um, fried pork thing. Really nice. We're having a couple of pints of Guinness. I'm sure we're going to have a few more, aren't we? Yeah, it's really nice. Thank you. However, um, we were planning on charging the bikes. And Martin has his charger for his, but somebody doesn't have theirs. <laughs> I think I, I must have left it either in Martin's or not. I thought I had it, so I can't charge mine. Um, I've got four bars left. The bike's got 10 bars normally of power, I've got four left, so we use over half. However, I've just been speaking to the landlord here, and he said there's a slightly quicker way back, which is only 17 miles, so. And it's on road, so we're hopefully Amazing, going to, yeah, we're hopefully going to be able to get back on just my four bars. So uh, fingers crossed. But for now, we're going to enjoy our food. You like it, dude? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, the food's really good. So we've also just been to a ward. Can't say too loud. We've been to a ward to scope out where we could come tonight, which is probably about two miles away, isn't it? So I need to go back two miles. So we're going to camp in a wood. A lot of the wood damp though, so we're going to struggle with finding some dry firewood. Um, Proper damp as well. All trees are just mouldy on you. Yeah. So uh, we're going to head back there, have some burgers, get red stand, do whatever. So we have just finished eating in the Crown pub. Where are we? It's definitely called the Crown, isn't it? Yeah, it's a We've had some lovely food, the food was really, really good. Um, we had a couple, we've had two pints each of Guinness. And we're now gonna head off, but instead of heading to the wood that we was originally planning, we're deciding to go back to the van, which is 17 miles away. So rather than having a night in the wood where it's gonna be pretty damp, weren't it? Yeah, we'd struggle. And potentially cold. 
already wet. Yeah. So we're just going to go for it and try and get back before it gets dark or as it gets dark. So, uh, mine. I've got full batteries, so I'm sorted. I'm going to do this 17 mile smoking. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I'm just gonna try and keep up. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Where's Stop. your full power? Okay. And there's me and my last four bars. 27 miles. But we are gonna be on the road. So hopefully that doesn't take it out of the power battery as much. I'm definitely not going to try and go faster than you. My arm, my legs, are killing. My legs are killing. My bum is killing. And we've just set off. 70 miles. Bloody hell. This is going to be hard. You can tell it is. When you start and it feels like this. Hopefully the pain becomes numb. Shouldn't be showing you this, but uh, yeah, mine well, is definitely not pushing me all out. I'm not even a beat yet. That's a worrying sign. I'm down to one bar, which is flashing. I've still got 10 miles, nine to 10 miles. It went from four bars to that. I mean, nothing. Didn't take long, did it, to go down that much. Then how long I've got left. Bike's done me, man. Had four bars from. If, if he used the same amount of power last time, this time as he did earlier, I would have been fine. Yeah. Well, uh, mine's planning on heading back to the van without me and getting the van and trying to pick me up. There, mine goes. In the distance, there, uh, he's gone. My battery is about done and I just thought this would be a good little spot for me to wait. So mine's gonna go do the extra I think it's eight miles he's got left. No, not eight mile. Probably less than eight mile an hour. Turn nil. Start still an hour though, yeah, eight point three mile. Eight point three mile. I'm good. I just said to him, I said I don't mind cycling the back, and he's keen on cycling the back himself. So yeah, I'm absolutely good at that. I couldn't finish it off with him. But uh, yeah, I can't believe I've forgotten cable either. I'm gonna put some warm clothes on and uh, crack a can open a opening and crack open a can. And, uh, chill, I'm going to probably sit down near this river. So we're talking an hour for him to get back to the van. And then it's about 23 minutes in the car to get back. So we're talking, so we're going to say an hour and a half. He should be here. So the time is 4.47. Got internet, so I can, uh, I need to Martin a pin of where we are. So I don't want to lose power, really, on the phone. So I can't really go on that. Just in, need, just in case he needs to contact me. So yeah, I'll crack open a can and just wait. Let's go. People are definitely thinking, what the heck are you doing? 
drinking and cycling. I'm filming yourself. Just waiting for Martin to come back. I've decided to uh, head to the social club. As you can see there, and I've had a couple of pints in there with the locals. Um, which has been pretty cool, to be fair. We're just having a little chat. Smashed it last night on the bike. Said it was killing him to get back. Really hard going, which I'd imagine because on the top, on the Pennine Way, it was really windy. Jerry Cinnamon tribute band was on last the night when we arrived, so we missed out on that. In 200 yards, so, uh, straight. We're a bit good about that, aren't we? Yeah. That would have been good. Next time we're going to do it without the drinking. <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, explore somewhere else. But, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you on the next one. Adios.